earlier in that round, there was the, the big sweeping right hand from Isaiah Ortiz. And Gabe, you had pointed out that there are times that Valdez can get a little bit irresponsible on replay. The look on Valdez's face was almost like, ah, oh, man, he caught me with yeah. that one. Like there was an, an immediate acknowledgement of what he'd done wrong. Yeah. And I think one thing Valdez should do, like right there, he threw a good four punch combination. But expect Ortiz to counter back and immediately row into the shot and counter back. So he's throwing good combinations right there. He certainly is. And Valdez but see, might he, have. He gets caught at the end because he doesn't row and he gets irresponsible on defense. And I thought that Valdez might have had Ortiz buzz there for a moment, but Ortiz again standing in there to land that counter left hook. Yep. And Valdez again trying to work off the ropes. Yeah, Ortiz's game is allow Valdez to throw, which is going to create the opportunity for an opening, and then he takes advantage and he throws the big overhand right or the hook. So, you know, that's, his, that's what he's banking on, is just those two big shots, the overhand right and the left hook. Nice left hook to the body. Valdez stepped back. I think maybe he thought it might have been low. The referee didn't flinch. A good body shot from Ortiz. Big left hook to the body. Nasty shot from Nader Valdez. I don't think he's getting up. Ortiz will not be getting up. What a body shot knockout from Nader Valdez. The jab is kind of frustrating Rodriguez a bit. Ooh, Good left hook nice there from Rodriguez. Up. See, you know, Rodriguez timed it. Gonzalez threw that jab to the body, and Rodriguez countered it immediately. And Rodriguez just seeing that pattern. Gonzalez almost throwing exclusively to the body, and at some point, you're going to open up, and Teton Rodriguez found that opening. And now guys, Gonzalez taking some backward steps. Yeah, these guys are figuring each other out. So it's just, um, it's all about timing right now. Can't make a mistake. Rodriguez trying to find something here along the ropes. He looked for a chopping right hand. There's an uppercut that breaks through. Yeah, I think the pressure is making Gonzalez uncomfortable. He doesn't like it. That was a good left hook by Rodriguez. Another good left hook. Gonzalez firing away. Nice uppercut. I think he has Gonzalez a bit hurt. Nice hook. Teton might have found the shot. The uppercuts. Breaking through, one snapping the head back at Gonzalez, who looks uncomfortable right now. Teton Rodriguez turning the tables when it looked like this fight might be getting away from him. Another uppercut breaks through. Then Rodriguez needs to go down to the body, break him down a bit more. Look at Gonzalez fire back. Nice right hand. They promised a show stealer, and this is a terrific round thus far as Teton Rodriguez is having the best round of the fight. Well, you know, Rodriguez is letting his hand go but punches and bunches, and he's actually landing a high volume right now. Gonzalez is a bit fatigued, so he's not slipping and rolling. He's not as quick as he was in the earlier part of the fight. Two good body shots there from Gonzalez. Make it three. Rodriguez just standing in there waiting for Gonzalez to pop up and counter with shots like that. Nice left hook from Teton Rodriguez. Another one. Really gave the same pattern, exactly what you're talking yeah. about. He is landing to the body. Gonzalez is rolling well, but when he comes up, he's coming up straight and he's running right into that left hook. Chance of Teton coming out once again. The Monterey fans trying to rally Teton Rodriguez to a victory here tonight and propel him to a big opportunity against one of the many big names at 115, but Israel Gonzalez wants a fifth crack at a world title, and he has fought like it all night long. Gonzalez is landing some good shots as well. Because he's sitting on the shots now. 
vicious exchanges here in the 10th and final round as we enter the final minute of this contest. Teton Rodriguez thought he would be facing Chihuahua Rodriguez here tonight. But after negotiations fell through, in stepped Israel Gonzalez. Nice and has Gonzalez pulled off what may be considered a minor upset given the circumstances? What have the judges seen? in these final three minutes. We know what we've seen. Wow, that was a good body shot by Gonzalez. I think Rodriguez got hurt. We've seen tremendous action from start to finish. And it might be Gonzalez who has the last word with that body shot and another uppercut. What a fight. The Alejandro Camacho scores this contest. 95-95, we have a split draw. Empate. The both fighters <laughs> waiting for verification there, but ultimately the scorecards remain in the manner they were after eight. And you know, I just like to see um, I like to see Garcia just walk him down with the with the hands up, you know, protect himself from them big shots and just kind of start touching the body a bit. Good oh. counter shot there from Hernandez, and Garcia is in trouble already. Ooh. Hernandez yeah, just bombs away with that right hand. Oh. And here are the combinations. Oh man, Garcia got a chin. Some big shots. Both of this landing, Ooh. the left eye of Garcia busted wide open right now. And oh, how did he survive that onslaught? Fernandez's manager, Hector Fernandez, also acting as his cut man here tonight. And I'm sure if you're Hector, you're thinking, hey, we can get this one Ooh. over with right now and move on to oh, a world man. title shot. Man, Garcia's oh, beautiful out of it. left hook. Ooh. Garcia in a world He's of trouble. He's out of it. He's out on his feet. Ref can stop the fight anytime right now. He's... How in the world is Garcia oh, on his man. feet right now? Oh, the ref can stop the fight. That oh, is man. it. As Garcia crumples into the arms of the referee, and Rocky Hernandez just stamped his ticket for a world title shot. Man. Oh, big shot big there. Right hand. Diego's continuing to absorb them, continuing to march forward. Diego needs to go back down to the body. Diego's carrying his hands low, a lot of upper body movement. There goes Pacheco downstairs. Yeah, the body shot's gonna do it, you know. He's hitting this guy with some great shots up top. But he needs to sit down to that left hook to the body. Nice body shot. Pacheco just stabbing with that jab downstairs. Thinking about that right uppercut, not too many of them have missed when Pacheco is thrown nice in, shot. both with the right hand and the left. Nice jab. Just picking at it. Now Gallegos, for the first time, and maybe a sign there, Gabe, gets to the inside but just holds on. Maybe he's in need of a little bit of a reprieve. Yeah, those shots are breaking him down little by little. Nice body shot. That's what I want to see more of. That left hook to the body. You can hear that one. Nice. Oh. Nice. Blood on the that face of Gallegos. But it's the shot to the body that sinks him to the canvas. That body shot, you know. You can take it to the head, man, but the body is different. Boy, Gallegos up at the count of five with a mean look on his face, but you have to wonder how much oh. more of this can he absorb. Big shots. Pacheco all over him, and the referee jumps great, in, and great, that is great stoppage. It. 
Diego Pacheco continues to live up to the hype. And he's getting better, man. He's getting better. Every fight, he's getting better. He's improving. I like what I saw. And you know, he was throwing some big headshots, but he went downstairs. He didn't forget to go to the body, and he got the job done. Well, that was scary power and accuracy from Diego Pacheco.